why the Barbary lion had the largest mane in history. Of all the lion subspecies that have walked the earth, none had a mane as impressive and iconic as the Barbary lion. Known for its thick, dark mane that extended across its belly and down its back, the Barbary lion's mane became a symbol of power and dominance. But why did these lions evolve to have the largest manes in history? In this video, we explore the science and history behind the Barbary lion's mane, uncovering the evolutionary reasons for its distinctive appearance. The mane of a lion is more than just a sign of beauty. It serves a variety of purposes, from signaling dominance and strength to providing protection during fights. For lions, a larger and darker mane is often a sign of higher testosterone levels, which indicates better health, strength, and reproductive fitness. The mane also acts as a shield, protecting the lion's neck and face during territorial battles. So, how did the Barbary lion's mane grow so large and luxurious? Lions with darker, fuller manes are often seen as more intimidating by other lions and more attractive to lionesses. Studies have shown that male lions with larger manes tend to have higher reproductive success. One of the key factors behind the Barbary lion's massive mane is the environment it called home. Unlike the savanna lions of sub-Saharan Africa, Barbary lions lived in the cool, mountainous regions of North Africa, particularly in the Atlas Mountains. The colder climate in these regions likely contributed to the development of their thick, long manes, which provided extra insulation and helped them stay warm during the cold mountain nights. Lions living in colder climates, such as the Barbary lion, or even lions found in captivity in colder regions, tend to develop larger manes. This is because their mane not only serves a protective role, but also acts as insulation, trapping body heat to keep them warm. Geographical isolation also played a major role in shaping the Barbary lion's distinctive mane. Separated from other lion populations in Africa, the Barbary lion evolved unique traits to adapt to its environment. Over thousands of years, the lions living in the Atlas Mountains became genetically distinct from other lion subspecies, with the large mane being one of the most notable differences. The Barbary lion's mane extended further down its body than in any other lion subspecies. This trait may have also evolved to signal dominance as the lions had to compete with each other in smaller, more isolated territories. In addition to the cold climate, the social structure of Barbary lions may have contributed to the evolution of their large manes. In smaller, more isolated prides, competition between males would have been fierce. A large, dark mane not only served as protection, but also as a visual cue of a lion's dominance and strength. In the rugged terrain of North Africa, male lions with the most imposing manes were likely to win territorial battles and secure mates, passing on their genes and ensuring the survival of their pride. The darker and fuller a lion's mane, the more attractive it is to females. Lionesses are often drawn to males with the largest manes, as it signals good health and the ability to protect the pride from rival males.
Africa. The Barbary lion's mane was so magnificent that it became a powerful symbol in North African culture. From ancient Berber kings to Roman emperors, the Barbary lion was revered as a symbol of strength, courage, and royalty. Statues and artworks often depicted these lions with exaggerated manes, emphasizing their dominance over the wilds of North Africa. This cultural reverence further solidified the Barbary lion's place as one of history's most iconic big cats. Barbary lions were kept in royal menageries by Moroccan sultans for centuries. Their large manes made them a symbol of royalty and were used to demonstrate the ruler's power over nature. Sadly, despite its iconic status, the Barbary lion's massive mane couldn't protect it from extinction in the wild. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, European colonists hunted the Barbary lion relentlessly for sport. The destruction of their habitat and the decline in prey further reduced their numbers. By the mid 20th century, the Barbary lion was declared extinct in the wild with only a few surviving in captivity, mostly in royal menageries. Today, there are efforts to bring the Barbary lion back, at least in captivity. Some lions in zoos, particularly in Morocco, are believed to be descendants of the original Barbary lions. Genetic studies are underway to determine how much of their Barbary lineage remains. And if successful, these lions could become part of a new breeding program aimed at restoring the lost kings of North Africa. Conservationists are working to preserve the legacy of the Barbary lion by identifying lions with Barbary ancestry and using selective breeding to revive their distinctive traits, including their famous large manes. Though the Barbary lion no longer roams the wilds of North Africa, its legacy lives on. With its immense size, dark mane, and regal presence, the Barbary lion remains one of history's most iconic and mysterious big cats. As we continue to learn more about these lost kings, we honor their memory and hope that one day, their roar will be heard again.